Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. This year's first cleanup of the Paldang Lake watershed, a source of water for the 26 million residents of Gyeonggi and Seoul, recently took place. With its surface water remaining unfrozen during the warm winter, the Paldang Lake watershed cleanup was performed two months earlier than has been the norm in past years. Approximately 30 Gyeonggi Province Water Resource Headquarters officials worked to clean up the shoreline. The targeted areas included a three-kilometer section of shoreline popular among tourists as well as wild bird habitats, including Sone Island. To remove floating trash, five boats were mobilized. In places inaccessible by boats, officials wearing long gloves and boots removed trash by hand. During the cleanup, a total of 55 tons of trash were removed in only a few hours. 시민이 이용하는 생명수입니다. 아울러 그 손해 섬은 그 야생 동물이 많이 서식을 하고 있습니다. 그래서 아 사람과 아 동물이 어 같이 the director of the Gyeonggi Province Water Resource Headquarters stated that the headquarters will continue water resource protection efforts through monitoring, management, and cleanups. On January 20th, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung had an informal meeting with business people of the province. Held under the theme of fairness and togetherness, this meeting saw presentations on economic trends and mutually beneficial cooperation cases. These were followed by a discussion of issues and proposals raised by the participating business people. During the meeting, Governor Lee emphasized the importance of virtuous economic cycles and gave assurances of his efforts to create a fair economy through mutually beneficial cooperation. Gyeonggi Province's first resting facility for mobile laborers, including driver service and courier personnel, opened in Gwangju City. In addition to resting amenities, this shelter will also offer legal consultations and health services. This shelter is located in a high-density commercial and business district, often frequented by mobile laborers. This shelter is geared to provide such workers, who frequently spend long hours waiting for their next assignment, with proper resting opportunities. <laughs> This 195-square-meter shelter includes a lounge, a sleeping room, a consultation room, and a multi-purpose room. Open from 4 p.m. until 6 a.m., the shelter also provides labor-related consultations and health education, as well as visiting work employment services, in addition to the resting amenities. At the opening ceremony, Governor Lee stated that while the number of mobile laborers is increasing, they are often neglected due to a lack of supporting legal and policy arrangements. <laughs> Gyeonggi Province currently targets the opening of at least 13 mobile laborer shelters by next year, including four in the cities of Gwangju, Suwon, Hanam and Songnam during the first half of this year. Immediately before the Lunar New Year holiday, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung visited a traditional market in Hanam City. During his visit, Governor Lee surveyed consumer prices and talked with merchants. At this market, Governor Lee surveyed consumer prices before the Lunar New Year holiday. He also did some shopping himself with the Gyeonggi regional currency. His visit coincided with a regional currency promotion event. 
During his visit, Governor Lee discussed market promotion with merchants and listened to their opinions. 주차장과 환경 개선 사업을 통해 많은 인프라를 마련했습니다. 그러나 저희 시장에는 몇십 년간 이루지 못한 수건 사업이 하나 있습니다. 그게 고객 지원 센터인데요. Merchants were also briefed about fire safety programs for traditional markets. Addressing merchants, Governor Lee asserted that they must work independently to improve competitiveness by utilizing the advantages of traditional markets. 장인들 개인의 경쟁력을 키워야 됩니다. 결국은 많이 알아야 되고 또뭐 예를 들면 접객이나 전시나 유통이나 또는 뭐 상품 조달이나 이런 거 사실 배워야 되잖아요. He also added that large supermarkets are cleaner and more friendly, but they are monotonous and offer little fun, while shopping in traditional markets is entertaining, and they feature diverse characteristics that merchants must utilize. He asserted that traditional markets have great potential if merchants work together to improve business. During a pre-Lunar New Year crackdown, the Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police apprehended a large number of Food Sanitation Act violators. Violations included the sale of foods and processed food products, past expiration dates, and falsifying countries of origin. Those apprehended will be sent to prosecution and subject to administrative penalties. On January 22nd, a special sales outlet showcasing social enterprises for seniors, individuals with disabilities, and self-supporting workers opened in the quad of the Kyunggi Provincial Government Complex. This sales outlet featured Lunar New Year foods and handicrafts. This event saw participation by more than 20 related organizations. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.